JJ Green returns as we get our season underway for opening round. We had our debut in our last video to kickstart this series, and today we take on the Pies in a must-win game to start the year. The Giants are here. Last year, the Pies defeated the Giants in the prelim, and as we go into opening round, we know how important this game is going to be. It's GWS, it's Collingwood, it's JJ's first game officially with the Giants opening round as we try and take this Giants team back to the finals. Yes, yeah, so welcome back. We're getting straight into it. It is round one between the Giants and the Pies, man. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. No team selection news just because this is round one. Um, I'm so excited to get this series out to you guys. I mean, like I said, uh, we've kickstarted this series back again as Collingwood come onto the field. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun, man. I mean, considering JJ goes into that midfield, a stacked midfield, I must say, with the Giants. I mean, we're going to try and get GWS their first premiership. I've got a lot of questions about the Essendon series. Don't worry, that will be returning very soon. But I'm excited to get this GWS series going. JJ Green is in the lineup for his first official game as a Giant. It's O-Round. Man, I don't really know with these O-Rounds and how everything goes. But we're underway from Sydney. It's the Giants and it's the Pies. And this one's going to be hot early. We already know. We start off here. GWS moving the ball. Man, it's tough early on. First game of the season. It's going to be hot. And you can see here, Finn Callahan can kick our first goal. He's got it. First goal of the night goes the way of the Giants. Man, this was one of the most exciting games I've probably played on AFL 23. I'm not going to lie. Here's our first look. JJ, little handball across, and we're going to get our second. Canelo from JJ Green, and the Giants are away in this one. But with players like Dagoe and Dacos, you cannot... I mean, you just can't lapse. And Lipinski here, Dacos picked it up, and Dacos kicks Collingwood's first goal. They're away here in opening round. One straight, plays 2-1-13. And Collingwood really started to turn the pressure up in this quarter. It felt like they got uh, on top in certain areas in this first quarter, but hey, so did we. So, I mean, I'm really excited to see what we can do in this one here. But have a look at this. I don't know how this one got out the back. I think that was Dugowie, and Jordan Dugowie kicks a goal. It's a one-point lead at the minute. Jordan Dugowie. We go inside 50 here. Opportunity. Good spoil from Darcy Moore. Ball goes out the back. Cadman handball over to Jesse Hogan. Hogan! gets it away he gets our third goal and we're starting to roll on here i mean i haven't really played too much with the giants so this is going to be a lot of fun playing with these players look at our handball movement bedford which probably too many handballs picked up by riccardi he snaps and he goes riccardi kicks our fourth goal of the first quarter a high scoring first quarter here in GWS, and we're not going to let up here. Can we get another one? 3 2 20 plays 4 1 25. Kennedy, little handball. Collingwood intercept. Another strong tackle, and Callahan can kick his second. Finn Callahan has bobbed up with two goals. 5 1 plays 3 2. Finn Callahan absolutely loves that. This has been a good first quarter from the Giants, especially to start our season as we go into quarter time with an 11 point lead. JJ Green, pretty quiet in that first that first quarter. Uh, did set up a nice goal, um, as you guys saw with Canelio. So we'll definitely take that. 5 1 31 to 3 2 20. Finn Callahan's kicked two goals, probably best on at the moment. Nick Dacos has one. And JJ Green has three touches. He has one kick and two handballs. Definitely needs to find more of the footy in this quarter. Uh, his first game. So, I mean, if he plays if he plays poorly, he could go into the VFL. That's how we're going to do this series. If he plays poorly, he goes in the VFL. As Collingwood, man, I tell you what, this had to be the scoring end because Collingwood absolutely went on a scoring tear in this quarter. I mean, we, were, we kicked five goals in that opening quarter. But here come the Pies and Hoskin Elliott squeezes it home. 4-3 Plays 5-1. Collingwood definitely turning up the pressure. And Dacos, the Dacos brothers, are getting involved in this game. 5-3 plays 5-1. And their ball movement's really starting to trouble us here. They go inside 50 almost again. You've got Lipinski. Man, Bobby Hill is all alone. Lipinski goes up looking for Bobby. Now, have a look at this. I actually went to handball this backwards, and it went. I don't know why. Man, I don't know why Sam Taylor ran away, because now it gives an opening shot to Bobby Hill. So... 
I mean, we get the deliberate, and Bobby Hill is going to make us pay. Collingwood, they're out to a nice little lead in this quarter. 6-3-39 plays 5-1. Well, 6-4-40 now plays 5-1-31. And it's raining goals, man. I can't even keep up. Brody Majacek kicks one. Well, it's actually Pendlebury. I don't even know what I'm saying. Here is JJ. He goes inside 50. Opportunity for Darcy Moore. And Collingwood have a strong lead in this quarter. And, man, they were not stopping. We just could not stop their inside 50s. And Brody Majacek here gets tackled. Doesn't matter. Bobby Hill has his second. Man, Bobby Hill. We have to tighten up. We've got to tighten up in this quarter. 9 4 58 to 5 2 32. Collingwood absolutely turned it on its head in that quarter, man. They were well and truly on top of us in that one. Uh, the Essendon video will come out next week, so I'm thinking of doing a GWS and Essendon video. Just really rotate them uh, through the channel so you guys can get involved. Jordan Ngoi had a big first half. Man, Kieran Briggs, 17 touches. JJ Green has seven, two kicks, five handballs. Definitely need JJ to get rolling in this, in this second half. His first game... Not a whole lot of pressure on him, to be honest. I mean, hopefully keeps his spot. I mean, I've got to really weigh that up with how this GWS team's looking. Um, if JJ has to play VFL, he has to play VFL. If not, we keep this train moving. His second half coming up. And like I said, man, this scoring end, wow. Because I don't think in AFL 23, I've ever had a quarter where I can say not everything went right, but... Everything honestly felt like it did go right in this quarter. Have a look at this. We'll start this quarter out. JJ strong tackling. The GWS pressure has gone up a notch. And it goes out here. Here we go is Bedford. Bedford lines up to get our second half kicked off to a full start. And Toby Bedford's got it. 6-2-38 plays 9-5-59. Here is JJ on the wing. Running. Driving it inside 50 with a chance. Cadman's not there. Roving. We've got numbers out the back. And Cadman should go in and kick a goal. He does. Two quick goals to the Giants. 7-2-9-5. Here come the... I mean, here comes the orange tsunami. I'm not going to lie. So, JJ's matched up to Jordan Ngoi here. Ball gets knocked down. Ngoi gets it. JJ with a strong tackle. Kelly runs in and Kelly kicks it. We kick three goals in seven minutes. And the Giants are within nine. Man, oh man. I'll tell you what, this is the scoring end. Tom Green gets it over the top. Back to Tom Green. Green inside 50. It is raining goals here at the stadium. 9-2-56 plays 9-5-59. We are well and truly on top of this team. Riccardi goes in. Opportunity. Canelio hands it off. Kennedy, another. All the Giants. We have kicked what, what, five goals in this quarter, four or five goals in this quarter, and we're not done. Here is Cadman. Cadman loading up, man. We are just running away with this at the minute. Ball gets knocked down. We've got numbers at the fall of the ball. Pressure. Pressure is Diamonds. Kennedy's kicked his second goal. And the tsunami, man. Collingwood can't stop it at the moment. They, I mean, our, look at look at look at the pressure. The pressure is heating up. And Tom Green almost got another one away. Kennedy for three in a row. Kennedy's kicked three in a row and extends our lead. Man, what a quarter from the Giants. But you can see here, Collingwood are not going to go away in this game. Load it up, and they needed it. Man, they need that. 10-5-65, plays 12-2-74. They're hanging in there. Ball goes inside 50. And here is the captain, Toby Green. Being quiet, but he sneaks it home. We are absolutely exploding in this game. We lead by 22 points. 25 minutes have gone. Finn Callahan has kicked three. What a quarter from the Giants. I think we may have kicked 10 goals in that quarter. Nine goals. I mean, this has never happened before in AFL 23. And we take a commanding lead. But this has to be the scoring end. 15-3-93 to 10-5-65. JJ Green. I mean, he definitely needs to get more touches. I'm not going to lie. But he had a really strong quarter. Uh, he is up to 15 touches, and he—I mean—he's—he's he's, he's playing. He's playing a good game at the minute. He's playing a strong game. Need to close this one out though, because that was, like I said, probably one of the biggest quarters I've probably ever had on AFL 23. And we started out here, and this definitely did not go our way. Bobby Hill gets a free kick. He's already kicked two goals, and Bobby Hill somehow kicks a goal. And this starts a little bit of a rain for Collingwood. Collingwood have that aura. We know they're just going to keep coming. And inside 50, Brody Meyer check. They are going to keep on coming. Meyer checks, got it. Meyer check kicks it, and they're back within 16 points. And we just couldn't stop their their run on. I mean, when they get in this mode, it's really hard to stop the momentum swings. Dacos has kicked a goal. 15-3 plays 13-5. We need to. I mean, I mean, 
We just need to, to stem the bleeding, but what are we meant to do in that situation? Ash Johnson loads up, looks good, and it is good. It is a four-point game. Pendlebury, and look at the tackle from Kelly. Strong tackle from Kelly. Now, we had to turn our pressure up. Four-point game. Ball goes down. Here we go. Opportunity. Left foot. Got it. Man, did we need that? That just stems the flow. And this is where it felt like we got the game back on our terms. Collingwood are definitely... There. I mean, they're, they're, they're firing. They are firing. They go inside 50 with a chance. Good spoil there. Strong spoil. And here go the Giants trying to bring it away. Collingwood. They're there. Snap towards goal. They're still in it. Collingwood are not going to go away. I think that might have been Bobby Hill. He's kicked four goals in this game. But here come the Giants inside 50 with a chance. Toby Green, the captain, got it. And Toby Green stood up when he had to stand up. 19 minutes have gone. One more goal could almost end it. Incorrect disposal. So Collingwood on their back 50. They've got to go, and they've got to go right now. Brings the ball up. Just, I mean, we turn the ball over here, and we'll be a chance. And we turn the ball over here. We can run in waves now. Inside 50. Inside 50 on the lead. Cadman can't get it. But Daniels, look at the rove. He's got it. Brent Daniels rows it beautifully. And that could almost be the sealer. Man, this was a tough fourth game. I mean, it had its swings. Had I mean, it had its ebbs and flows, man. The momentum in this game was huge. Here is Crisp. We're just looking to end it here. He brings it up. Opportunity. Haynes was really strong. Tom Green gets tackled. Gives it to Haynes. Haynes goes inside 50. Cadman can't mark. But he runs him down and it's holding the ball. We'll come back. And Cadman is going to put the finishing touches on this one here. Cadman drills it. Giants are going to get the dub, man. This was a hard-fought win, but we'll definitely take it. I mean, Collingwood, I mean, the reigning premiers, what a better way to get your season started with a 19-goal performance. We were challenged. We answered. 19-4, 118-15, 5 Strong game from both teams. The Giants, too good. Now... We will go over and have a look at JJ Green to see how he performed in this game. But man, Canelio is huge. Dugowie, 35 touches for Jordan Dugowie. Um, I'll be releasing the votes and the next video before the start of the next video for this game. So you guys will be able to see that. But let's have a look at JJ Green. He finished with 20 touches. I mean, he had a really nice game. I really liked his game. Six kicks, 14 handballs. And it was huge. A big game. For JJ, and now we can really start to progress this season, start to get moving. I mean, the orange tsunami is real, and hopefully it just continues to get even bigger with now with the likes of uh, JJ in the side. But he's going to have to keep his form because this is a stacked midfield. We're going to have to keep playing well. Thank you for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Stay blessed. See you in the next one.